Okay, what's this? Xanthoma. Yeah, it's a xanthoma, and in particular, is a special type of xanthoma. In the eyelid. Yes, yeah. it's in the eyelid. Very good. So we call it a xanthelasma. Is these little thin, you know, thin plaques that are yellowish on the eyelids, and microscopically, they're made of xanthoma cells. Foamy histiocytes, lipid-filled histiocytes, and they usually just have a bunch of foamy histiocytes sometimes multinucleated like here, filling up the dermis in either sheets or little clusters or nodules with very minimal inflammation, okay? So we're not seeing much in the way of lymphocytes or Teuton giant cells or granulomas. We're just seeing the foamy histiocytes. Oh, I lied. Look, there's a little granuloma there. But in any case, it tends to be mostly foam and very little of other cell types, which is how you can help sort it out from other things like xanthogranuloma or, or other processes, okay? And how can we tell that we're in the eyelid even without being told? Well, number one, we've got skeletal muscle here. How do I know it's skeletal muscle? Well, one, you can see striations if you've got a longitudinal section. But if you've got a cross-section of it, look where the nuclei are. They're on the outside of each individual fiber. If you remember, peripheral, multiple peripheral nucle nuclei around a fiber, that's what skeletal muscle does. And then you get, if you look closer, you can see striations sometimes. It's also a little different color. I feel like skeletal muscle is more bright red. See, it's hard. You, I don't really see good striations here uh, because, oh, wait, there they are. you got to be cut in the right plane of section. This one has it, but the rest don't. So you can see um, skeletal muscle anywhere in the face, but of course in the eyelid it tends to be abundant. The other thing I'll tell you that eyelid skin, at least in adults, when I see it biopsied, almost always has is pigment incontinence. Melanin pigment dropout is like a normal feature of eyelid skin in at least it's common enough that it is like essentially within the normal range for at least adults. I kind of wonder if that's why people get dark circles under their eye is because of pigment incontinence. I do not have proof for that, but it is so reliable that if I see skeletal muscle, loose edematous dermis, some kind of stellate multinucleated cells in the dermis, see like right here, these little cells. I don't know why, but these kind of, kind of stellate or triangle or multinucleated cells is not the best example. Maybe that's a better one. They are common in eyelid skin. I don't know why and then pigment dropout. Those things together, I'm gonna to tell you it's eyelid skin, and I will be right most of the time. Okay, xanthelasma. Uh, 